Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here and it is Thursday the 16th of January. Thanks again for watching. Um, I'm at the University of Birmingham today fulfilling my duties lecturing on my weather forecasting course for the Master's module in Applied Meteorology and Climatology. Students not here yet, look. So, I thought I'd just put a quick video together for you just to uh, keep you up to date on where things are going. We'll have a full update for you tomorrow. And, of course, Gary's got the fast forecast for you as well if you need some detail for the week. Um, main story really isn't dissimilar to what we've been telling you about over the last few days. Looks as if temperatures are going to be falling steadily as we go into next week. Certainly cooler temperatures look to be uh, on their way. Um, it's not going to be the depths of winter by any means, but certainly cooler than it is about now. Um, reason for that, we've got low pressure moving through during the course of the weekend. That could actually bring quite a bit of mist and fog across many southern and central parts of the country. Clears away down to the south. A cut-off cold pool then develops across Europe and briefly briefly brings us in a northeasterly wind. Now, we've been quite critical of the ECMWF model um, over the last few days because of it trying to develop this northeasterly, and it showed it on several model runs, but it actually does look as if it's going to happen by the time we're getting towards Monday and Tuesday, and possibly even into Wednesday of next week. So things do look as if they're changing. It looks as if the model, uh, the ECMWF at least, is going to recover some credibility from this. And then into next week, we go into more of a west to west northwesterly flow. It's still quite unsettled. I think cool as well with that west to west northwest flow. That's what's going to be dragging down temperatures. And then what we need to watch for end of next week into the beginning of the week after is a trough swinging through. If that trough gets in and we get northwesterlies turning into northerlies and get a cold feed coming down through the UK and into the continent, we need to watch for that temporarily setting up an east to northeasterly flow as we head through the end of the month and into the early part of February. Been hinting at that for some time as well, the idea that things could be cooling off. So uh, I'll keep you updated on that, of course, as always. You can follow us on Twitter at WXWeb, and uh, we'll be keeping you up to date via there as well, or do a search on Facebook for Weather School. But I'll give you a full update tomorrow. We'll go through all the charts again tomorrow. It's just that I wanted to bring you up to date on exactly where we are now. So, uh, once again, thanks for watching. Uh, I better get on with the lecture. Students love and arrive, and uh, keep the sun shining. Bye for now.